Should I one button or two? Uh, definitely. Starting a business during the pandemic has been uh, an adventure. It's been a bit of a it's been a bit of a challenge. The it's, first five months were pretty messy. I'll be honest. We started pretty slow. Uh, I mean, we were making sales. We were making a little bit of money, but it was not anything like what we were expecting or hoping for. But then we made one tiny little change. Didn't have anything to do with COVID. And then the cash started rolling in. We're going to tell you how much it was. A lot of y'all are not going to believe us, but we'll share what we did and how we did it. And uh, maybe you can use some of these tips to make a little cash. Roll the intro. We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. So we're starting our second woodworking business. We started our first one when we lived in North Dakota, but then in January of 2021, we officially reopened here in Houston. And we didn't know anybody, not a single soul. We had one email address of a contact of a friend of a friend. So like any new business, we were trying to take every single job we could, which is good, but that's not what we wanna do long-term. So here's our business plan. This is what we wanna do long-term. Our business plan here in Houston is to sell closing gifts to realtors here in the area. And then when they give that closing gift to a brand new homeowner with a big, huge, empty home, they're gonna see that we also make furniture. And then based on our good packaging and marketing, they're gonna know to go to our website to find pieces of furniture to fill their brand new home. So in our first 30 days in business, between custom build jobs, we started going to realtor open houses and making cold calls, all trying to get these realtors on board with buying our closing gifts. All right, first real estate agent, super nervous. Number one. I don't know why I hate this so much. We've got over our script, we're ready, we can do this. Yeah, we got this, let's go. So COVID made that plan pretty tough. These open houses, there weren't very many. When we went there and there was an open house, the realtor that was there doing the open house wasn't the listing agent. And we were walking in prepared to give the listing agent a personalized cutting board. If the person who's getting the personalized gift isn't there, it just doesn't work. Cold calls didn't work. These realtors weren't in the office, so they weren't picking up their phones. And plus they were screening their calls too. I mean, they're not stupid. So we finally gave up on the open houses and we just started personalizing boards and sending the board to the new realtor. We'd never talked to him before. We'd never introduced ourselves. We just mailed them a board, and sent it to their office because we wanted them to know what it felt like to get a board. And then from there, maybe they might be a little more inclined to buy a closing gift from us. So now all you new guys are caught up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe so we don't have to go through all this again and you can stay up to date with what we got going on. That process worked amazing. The realtors loved getting their personalized boards. A couple of them even described it as like opening a gift on Christmas morning. That's how happy they were. And that is exactly what we're going for with our packaging, which means it's working. And we finally started making sales. A realtor ordered five boards one day, another realtor ordered three the next day. Things were starting to move forward and we really dialed in our packaging and fulfillment processes. So then a couple of other fellow business owners pointed something out to us. They showed us how much work we were doing for just the first sale. And they pointed out that most of the realtors that bought a board from us were buying multiple boards. And we were having to remind them that we existed. Realtors are very busy. So our friends suggested that we sold them in bulk to realtors at a slight discount, 10 to 20 boards at a time. They were gonna buy them anyway. This just ensured that they would remember us and we didn't have to keep hammering them for every single board sale. This idea blew us away. The next five calls Jenny made, she sold every realtor at least 10 boards. Some of them ordered 20. A couple of realtors have already burned through their first order and have put in an additional order later after that. Their follow-on orders are bigger than the initial order that they put in up front. They're telling other realtors on their team about the closing gifts. An entire realtor office is going in on these bulk board orders to bring the price down just a little bit. And we get the cash up front, so then we can do more with that in the future. I mean, Jenny has outsold all of our current inventory, which which is about 20 to 30 boards, as well as the next two batches of cutting boards I have to make. They're all paid for. That's great news.
This is why it's important to have friends helping you run your business. You've got so many things that you have to deal with and think about. It's easy to miss like a tiny little idea or detail just like we did, but that tiny idea could make a huge difference within your business. This small idea made a big difference for us and we have the guys and gals on the stud stock to thank for that. If you don't know, the Stud Stack is a private Facebook group for makers who run businesses. Every day, there's different ideas or discussions or tips that are posted in the group. I mean, we've definitely made more money in our business because of it. And the best part about it is that it's a paid group. Everybody in there is serious. Because not all advice is created equal. Their advice is so much more valuable than the armchair experts down in the comments who have never run a business or the free groups that are trying to do what we do. You guys need to sign up for it now. We are about to close the group. We're currently at 87 members and we're closing it at 100. We can't let it get too big because then people's voices start to get lost. So you've been thinking about it, you've been mulling it over a little bit. Now is the time to make the decision before it is too late to make it. All right, so the moment you've all been waiting for, the numbers. Yes. So we're going to start from the bottom and go to the top. Don't skip ahead. I see you. Yeah, I don't cheat. Don't try to double tap your way to the answer. <laughs> all right, so custom jobs. We made a grand total of $3,180 for custom jobs in the first five months. Uh, that was basically two jobs. We did a living yeah. room set and we did a noodle board oven stove top cover thing. Board sales, this is the more exciting one, Jenny. Yes, so this is the number of boards we have sold in the last five months. So, are you ready? <gasps> 112. We sold 112 boards in the last five months. That's nuts. I had no idea it was that many. And then the grand total, which we were both shocked by the other day when we saw it, was... Drum da, roll. Da, da. $16,753 in total revenue. Now, profit's much lower than this, but this is how much money we have taken into the business in the last, or the first five, five months. months. This has blown us away. Obviously, this is not enough to live on for five months straight, yes. but it is a dang good start for where we're trying to go, and we've got nowhere to go but up. So yeah, that's been our first five months. It's been crazy. We're reinvesting all the profits back. We haven't taken a paycheck yet or paid ourselves for labor at all. We're reinvesting all of our profits back into the business to get it to grow faster. The clock is ticking because we only have so much money and savings, <laughs> So, uh, but we're confident in our ability to grow this, and the next thing on the horizon for us is moving into a commercial space, getting more and more of these realtors hooked on us, uh, but we also need to move beyond realtors. Yes. Basically, we need to diversify the cutting board and charcuterie board side of the business. Realtors are fantastic. They're an excellent source of business, but we need to get some other options in the mix as well. We've got to get the cutting and charcuterie board side of the business running so that eventually that can be on autopilot in the background while we are focusing on bigger builds for the homeowners and other, you know, brand new residents of the Houston area. There's levels to this. You got to respect the level you're on. And for us as beginning business owners, dialing in this cutting and charcuterie board business has been so much fun. We're so humbled and so grateful for the opportunity to, to do what we do and um, to grow this business. We've so. learned quite a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. So subscribe if you want to follow along, watch our journey, see us crash and burn or share in our victories. Why? I don't... <laughs> Oh, uh, it's going to be a wild ride for sure, no matter what yeah. happens. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified when we post a new video, and join the stud stack before yes. it's too late. That's it. Yeah. Catch you on the next one. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan.